Welcome back, uh, dear viewers, and you are still watching The Breakfast Show. And in this segment of our program, we will talk about World Creativity and Innovation Day. It's a global UN day celebrated usually on the 21st of April. It aims at raising awareness of the importance of innovation and creativity in problems in problem uh, solving with respect to advancing the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal goal known as the importance of this day and how Egypt will mark this occasion. We are joined over the phone by Dr. Jehan Zahran. She is an educational uh, consultant. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, as I've just mentioned that uh, uh, the 21st of April marks World Creativity and Innovation Day. So Dr. Jehan, can you tell us more about the importance of this day? Yeah, actually, uh, when we talk about uh, innovation and creativity we, we came to the skill that has always improved how the students go and create so we go back to the skills that already we have to improve in our education from the beginning the creativity and innovation on terms are often just uh, interglobally uh, but the truth is that they are Complementary It is possible that there is a lot of creativity in a company without innovation. When two topics of combined our reasons and terms to be positive. As we know, creativity is the ability to create, uh, produce, or invent new things. Mm. Innovation is a successful implementation of these ideas. In other words, an innovative idea is one that presents benefits in practice. Uh, and then we came here when we came to the entrepreneur. So if you want to uh, create a yes. student and create children, create a mind, we have to go back to the research skills that we have to improve mm -hmm. and concentrate in our early education. So, uh, Dr. Uh, Jihan, uh, what uh, is the importance of creativity and innovation in uh, achieving uh, sustainable development goals? Um, it is the reason simply of entrepreneurship is a big challenge, as we know. If you want to have uh, an entrepreneur mindset um, of our young children, of our young people, that we really have creativity in our country, in our community, mm -hmm. so we have to take care of innovative and creativity skills, which is really all the time should be up to date in our education. Uh, there are several companies yes. actually competing in the same place in the market and trying to move over the public in different ways. In this context, creativity and innovation become even more important after all. Hmm. This can be the basic of differentiating yourself from others. But how we can develop creativity and bring it to our studio business? So this is how to create a part that can help. Hmm. There is a lot of things actually that we can do, and it's well known actually for the entrepreneur and their market. Yes, uh, Dr. Jihan, can you also shed light on the government's efforts uh, uh, to support the, uh, young entrepreneurs and innovators? Uh, actually, this, uh, the government has been now making uh, a lot of improvements, especially in the curricula itself. Hmm. And um, before it wasn't um, that creativity and problem solving in the curriculum, yes. but now most of the things and mm. depends on the presentation skills and depending more on the problem solving, critical thinking questions of all subjects. Yes. And that's really a very good step of how to create the mindset of the kids. To be a little honest entrepreneur or a useful entrepreneur, even to create ideas. 
So that can be what I show, depending on that. So, uh, Dr. Jihan, the first uh, World Creativity and Innovation Day was celebrated on the 21st of April 2018. So, it is, uh, uh, we started to celebrate it only three years ago. So, uh, yeah. yes. So, uh, how do you see this? I, I see it's a lot of improvement related to that. I see the world is really, uh, you know, like thicker and more... Mm. Uh, having a keeping on the first eye of something yes. really very important that it wasn't spotted before. Yes. And it means that uh, people will maybe later on will take care of that when having a lot of activities globally and um, there is a lot of competition. Uh, maybe I cannot just make it right now because there are a lot globally and locally uh, of the type so that related to that specific so, in your opinion, what are the challenges that still face uh, young innovators and entrepreneurs? Um, I think uh, from your um, program, I really need to send a message to yes. educators hmm. and the really people who are working in education generally, because okay. this is the basic for everything. Yes. Uh, research skills, research skills, and research skills. So that's, that's the, the basic of how uh, to guide the students of to write and to, to search for the right information. Hmm. Don't give them the sea and tell them, show me how to, how to swim, but give them a guideline. Uh, tell them how to be a critical thinking mind. Uh, and that's really easy now. It's, it's not hard like before. Everything is ready for teachers. Everything is ready for educators mm. in the curricula itself. It's just the only thing that you can do is just to follow and to adopt the right way, which they have already. So uh, don't go on one idea. Don't have a one line for all students. They are different. They have different thinking, and uh, the clever teacher is that to, you know, like pick up the creative student and guide him and to improve the skills that they really have. And, and uh, the other yes. that. Yes, one final question, uh, Dr. Jihan. How will Egypt uh, mark this occasion on the 21st of April? Are we going to raise awareness about the importance of creativity, innovations? Are we going to talk to students about uh, its importance? How will Egypt mark this occasion? I think the, the, all the educational institutes have to take care of that. Is that not only to talk about this? It's just to pick and, um, and open and apply mm. and show the creativity that already happened in Egypt. Yes. We have a lot of creativity thinking students mm. and they have marvelous ideas. We have to show this. We have to show our model. Yes. Uh, we have to show exactly how they create things and how their, the road came into a very, very innovative idea. Yes, uh, Dr. Jihan Zahran, uh, Education and Innovation Consultant. Thank you for being with us today and have a good day. And uh, by that, dear viewers, we come to the end of today's edition of The Breakfast Show. I'm Sheen Aydin and I was joined today by my colleague Amal Mukhtar. See you tomorrow with a new program.